Ata Marie, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Storytime with Mrs. Craig. Today I've chosen a lovely book all about a mouse that danced. Let's get in and read it. It's always lovely opening a book. Feels like we're opening a box of magic. Let's see what happens in this story. A bright silver moon beam sl came sliding in through the attic window. It lit up the old forgotten furniture and broken toys and a small mouse dancing. Can you see the little mouse dancing? You can even see her shadow down by my fingers. Round and round she went, twirling and whirling on her tiny feet, so light she never made a sound. By ones and twos, more mice crept into the attic to watch her. When she had finished, they cheered and clapped and stamped their feet. No one could dance like Fay Mouse. In the bedroom below, the humans stirred, woken by squeaking and scampering. Oh, drat those mice, muttered the man in his big bed. He sat up. Quiet, he bellowed. <gasps> the mice froze. Not one of them dared to move until they heard the sound of snoring from the room below. Then I, they crept away to hide in their holes. And can you see this one down by my finger? He's very frightened. Would be a bit scary, wouldn't it? The next night, Faye was sad. She wanted to dance, but she was afraid. Oh, where can I dance? Not here. The humans will hear me, she sighed. A small shy mouse said, We must find you a new place to dance. You're right, Nonny, agreed his friend Enor Mouse. Yes, cried all the other mice. And because it was Nonny's idea, they asked him to find a new dance floor for, for Faye. So Nonny Mouse, who had never been a leader in anything before, but who liked exploring in his own quiet way, led the mice out of the attic. He ran pit-pat, pit-pat, through roofs, behind walls, and under floors. Let's see if you can get nice and close and see them running. Can you see them all running there? Following the leader. Looking, looking, looking. At last he found a big empty cellar. Here's a place where you can dance and no one will hear you, Nonny said. So Faye danced. Mice came running from all over town to watch Faye dance. Suddenly someone said, look at this. Cheese. It smells delicious. And let's see if we can get that picture nice and close for you. So there she is dancing. Where is the cheese? I wonder where it is. Stop! cried Enor. Haven't you seen a trap before? Never, never go near a thing like that. A trap! the mice shuddered, shrieked. There's no place for us. This is no place for us. And away they ran. There was no more dancing that night. We just had a little glitch there where the video went off, but never mind, we'll keep going. So here we go. Can you see the mouse trap? So the mouse was very tempted, but Enor knew better, didn't he? He knew that that was not a place for them to go. Faye was sad because she still had nowhere to dance, so Nonny set out again. He scampered through attics and cellars, sheds and garages, and at last he found a room that seemed just right. Once again, from all around, mice came to watch Faye dance. But Enor was worried. What was that smell? It was growing strong. Uh-oh. Suddenly he knew. Mm, what do you predict that the smell might be? Watch this. Uh-oh. Did you predict that? Cat! He shouted as loudly as he could. Squealing in terror, the mice scattered in all directions as a large ginger cat came stalking into the room. It pounced with lashing claws, but the mice were gone. There was no dancing that night either. More nights passed. S still, Faye was sad. 
I wish I could dance, she sighed. So Nonny set off once more. This time he found a big empty room with no humans, no traps and no cats. It even had a stage at one end for Faye to dance on. Perfect, said the mice as they, they gathered to watch her dance. But just to be sure, Enor checked in all the corners and under all the chairs. Suddenly, he froze in horror. A young mouse was just about to eat some green crumbs he had found on the floor. Stop! Enor cried. That's rat poison! Rat poison! We're not staying here! The mice squeaked and they fled back to their holes. Golly me, they are having a lot of bad luck, aren't they? Fay Mouse, Nonny Mouse and Enor Mouse went back home, back to the attic where they lived before. Dance just for us, speak to two friends, and we'll be very quiet. Hmm, Fay doesn't look like she's keen on that idea, does she? Oops! So Fay began to dance. Round and round she twirled a world on her tiny feet, and so light she didn't make a sound. Silently, Nonny and Enor rocked and swayed and beat time. Soon, mice from all over the house crept in to watch. When the dance was over, they forgot all about being quiet. Uh-oh, they clapped and cheered and raced for joy around the attic. Oh, oh, what do you think's going to happen? In the bedroom below, the humans stirred, woken by the squeaking and scampering overhead. The man in his big bed sat up. Those mice, he muttered. Then he lay down again. I'm glad they're back, he said. I miss them. And he smiled and went to sleep. And that's the very end of the story. And there's a lovely picture of Faye on the stage dancing at the end. Let's have a look at the end page here and see what decoration did they put on there. Look at that. Lots of little mice dancing. So I hope you enjoyed that story. Those mice certainly met some trouble on the way, didn't they? But I'm glad they got to have a dance in the end. Um, I will see you again for story time soon. So hi da everyone. Have fun.